Yo, what's going on? Just want to let you know, if you're not in our Discord, come join that. We do play other games other than Rust, and you can come play with us, talk to us, whatever you want to do there. We got some other cool things in there. We're going to be setting up a Zerg soon. Um, we're filling eight spots. So if you guys want to try to get into that, we're going to have an application on our Discord. We will be making a series about it, and we're also going to be making a base build between me and Zorain, who I shouted out in one of the previous videos. The invite link to our Discord is in the description below. Alright, now we're getting into the meat of this. So I'm going to show you some honeycombing tricks that I like to use on smaller bases. You can use this on bigger bases too. So at first I'd probably put my TC down here in the corner away from the upstairs access and front door. And uh, we'll just begin putting some honeycomb right here on the outside and then wrap it around. After we get all that done, we'll hop up here and you'll see we have all this space that is just not being used and there's many different things that you can use this space for. I'll put the walls around and upgrade them real quick and then show you what I mean. So I'll probably just wall this off over here because it's hard to get in and out with these stairs here. And the first thing I want to show you is putting a workbench in the honeycomb on a half height triangle to save some space and then you can fit your level 3 workbench inside the base later on near your TC. Above this we can put a half height triangle again and we can use it as some storage space or you could put a repair bench up there along with some other things that I'll show you in a little bit. And I would use double doors just so that it's easy to access everything inside of it and uh, raiders will be confused for the things that need double doors because then we'll just have double doors on everything so they won't really try to focus anything. Uh, you could put these furnaces up a little higher than what I did, like on a half height triangle, so that it's a little easier to access them all. And then above that, we will be putting a half height triangle again for some storage space. Now another thing you can do on these half height triangles that are above something that's below them is you can put this small box in the back and then put a large box in front of it without a code lock on it and it'll pop through the double doors and you won't be able to see the box behind it if they do break the door. And since it has, doesn't have a code lock on it, 99% of the time they're probably not going to break that box unless they know that there's this box behind it, which I really have never seen anybody do this. So it's pretty safe to say that nobody's going to break that box and find this small box behind the large one, which makes it a pretty sneaky little thing. At this point, if I'm building my second floor, I'll bring my TC up from the bottom floor and put it above the airlock because n who's going to like destroy the wall above your airlock when they most of the time are going to think that your TC and loot is as far away from the airlock as possible. So I'll put it up there. And then over here, we're gonna build a cool little shooting spawning area. If you're getting online raided, you build a bag with a fire in it, throw some guns, a chest plate, a helmet, some heels in that fire, and then put a window in front of it with a window frame in it and some wooden shutters that you have on the inside. So they're just a little harder to break, you know what I mean? Like it, obviously somebody could break that, but it makes it a little harder behind the window frame it doesn't necessarily have to be this window frame but this is the safest one to shoot through because you can just duck and kind of hide below there if you look down at the floor and if you're getting shot at your head will go below it and yeah i like this this is pretty cool little thing up i'd put it next to my tc and then build a wall right over here so that uh it's harder for them to kind of shoot at you or run away from you because this wall blocks them and then there's a door frame right here that they're probably not going to destroy and then it's just a straight line that you can guard your TC from in, the, in this uh, certain situation.
And then I just have uh, two more things to show you that I thought were pretty cool ways to save some space. You can throw your repair bench up on the top one with a box behind it for some extra storage. And then below that, we're gonna put uh, a locker if you use those. This is a good way to get them out of your way. Just throw them in your honeycomb right here and you're all set. One more thing I wanted to show you was the research table in your honeycomb with a large box underneath it and then that'll kind of stick through the door on this triangular honeycomb. So you won't put a code lock on that box underneath it and also the research table will stick through the door. So there's a pretty high chance that they're not even going to blow that door up because they think you're a noob and you are just messing up. But there's actually a small box behind it where you can put some higher tier loot and it's pretty safe to say that like maybe like 80, 90% of the time, nobody's gonna find this box. It's not as safe as the um, one I showed you earlier with the large box on the top half of the honeycomb with the small box behind it, but this is still another good tactic to hide some like weapons or something behind your research table. So yeah, we'll just cover everything that we've done so far. Throw your TC on the second floor above your airlock in your honeycomb. You can put some furnaces in there, create a shooting room with a sleeping bag in it. Uh, put your research table in there with a small box behind it. Right here, you could also fit another small box behind these two boxes if you want them to be concealed behind the door. Uh, I would still not put any code box on those front two boxes, but maybe put this box behind there with the code lock and is similar to the large chest one where you can put a small box behind it you could fit lockers in there your workbenches in the honeycomb and uh, your repair bench in the honeycomb you can also fit fridges and vending machines in there as well but those have to be half height high so that you can access them and after all that you'll you'll have some extra space in your base that you can move around in throw your level three workbench in You'll have, you can, you'll have uh, more space for large boxes for like all your drop off areas, extra loot, you know, gear, things that aren't that important. And then you put all of your higher tier loot in your TC and in those sneaky boxes and you have a way better chance of not losing everything when you get raided. That's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. Let me know of any ideas related to this that you thought of that I didn't cover. Let me know on Discord any videos you want me to see in the future, and I'll catch you guys later.